welcome back to the installation here. Uh, I'm using uh, VirtualBox here to go through the motions of the installation of Magic the Gathering. Um, I'm using Linux Mint here, so let's go ahead and go through it. Uh, uh, so first things off, we're gonna go ahead and add the architect uh, for the 32 bits and type in your password. Uh, we're gonna add the wine staging here and for that we need uh, a couple of things we're gonna uh, download the key we're gonna add the key and we're gonna add the repository uh, and there we wanna add the Linux Mint one here on the bottom so I'm gonna use uh, this one and copy paste that in let's see everything is correct like that yeah, and we're gonna do an update and see if it worked. Uh, it seems that we have uh, multiple repositories here. Uh, I might have added it here before, but I think we'll be fine. So let's go ahead and just go into wine staging. And we're gonna copy that and we're gonna paste that in. And we want to install all the requirements there. And when we're done with the wine, we're gonna just close that one down and we're gonna go and install the Lutris. So uh, I'm gonna move this aside a bit. And if you go to Lutris.downloads, um, for the mint version here, we're gonna go and add these uh, command lines here. And you're gonna do this one as well. Um, let's see if we can get all. And we're gonna go and add the key here. And we're gonna do an update. Let's see, it might take a while here. And we're gonna go and install the Lutris itself. And we're gonna go Y for Jess. And uh, when the Lutris is done here, we're gonna go up and uh, go into uh, a website here and let's see it I have it open here so I will have the link in the description box you go into this one and you'll get the magic the gathering arena and it has its script for installing it and you need to log into your Lutris account and add it to your library I had some issues when I tried to run the script by itself so it's better to add it to the library and when you start the Lutris it will recognize it so let's go ahead and start the Lutris. And uh, then we need to connect to an account. And uh, I will connect to an account here and be back right in a second. And when you have connected to your account, just go ahead and search for the Magic the Gathering. And you will have it in uh, the search box here. So I'm going to go ahead and just install it. And it's gonna use uh, the latest script for installing it and just click continue, add a new uh, um, directory. And I had to do some <laughs> finagling, you have to install it and uh, then uh, it will crash and you have to install it again in the same prefixes and in the same directories. So if it crashed the first time, uh, let's see if it does it on uh, this installation. Just go ahead and try to run it again. The directory will be still be there and the prefix as well for the wine. Uh, and then it worked for me. So let's go ahead and see what that happens. It worked for the first time here. So let's try and launch the game and see if it works. Um, they run in a uh, virtual uh, desktop. Yeah, because they have some errors in the full screen environment. Um, so yeah, let's see if it starts. It runs pretty slowly in the virtual box here. <laughs> and there you have it. Uh, it's fully loading now and downloading all the files uh, necessary to run it. So yeah, um, that's everything. It should run pretty smoothly right here. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask them. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.